Hey guys, Ching Dobre. Welcome back to Poland Casa Fund. My name is Riju. When working abroad, you need to know your laws as an employee or as a contract worker because the labor law differs in different countries. Every country has their own labor laws. In Poland, labor laws are very strict but employee friendly. Companies need to comply with a lot of rules and regulation, especially after hiring international workers. So in this video, let's see what are such rules and how to spot a red flag if you have been cheated. First and most important rule is that no company has the right to withhold your passport irrespective of your job. Whether you are working in a factory or an MNC, your passport has to be with you all the time. Second most important obligation Second most important obligation is that company should obtain a work permit for you which basically means if you are in contact with a person who is claiming to give you a work permit then it is basically a scam you should stay away from such people no one can ask you money to issue you a work permit it has to be done between the company and the labor office in order to check if your work permit is correct or not your company's name will be mentioned on it along with your designation and the salary apart from this your work permit will also have an expiry date the seal from the labor office and the signature of the officer the third important rule is about the employment contract the company also has to execute a written contract and it's their responsibility to make it readable in your language and you have the right to read everything before signing it nobody can force you to sign something which you are not at all comfortable with and moreover one copy of the employment contract will always remain with you now coming to the money part the minimum gross salary in poland for the first 6 months of 2024 is around 4242 swotes that is around 27.7 swatis per hour then from uh, july to december 2024 the minimum gross salary will be 4300 swatis per month that is around 28.1 swatis per hour so make sure you're always you're always aware of the minimum gross salary for that particular year because every year the gross salaries is either increased or it's been updated and make sure your company provides you salary every month and before 10th of every month. Just remember that this is the gross, gross salary which you will be receiving, not the net salary. Net salary will be even more lesser with all the deductions like income tax, insurance, etc. So that you will get in hand. If you want to calculate your net salary in hand, there are some websites which will help you. I will put them in the description box so you can go and check it. The company also has to indicate all the deductions made to your salary and provide a reasonable explanation for it. Common deductions may be because of accommodation, uh, insurance, income tax and social securities and so on. Next, the number of working hours should also be mentioned in your contract irrespective of you have a full-time or a part-time job. Company should also enroll you in the social security or ZUS as they call in Poland within the first seven days of starting your job. So you might think what is ZUS and why should I enroll in it? First of all, it's mandatory for all the working people to get enrolled in ZUS. Enrollment in ZUS will give you access to public healthcare facility in Poland. It will give you an access to all the government hospitals. So whenever you are sick, you can visit hospitals for free and get treatment because all these deductions have been done in your salary. Apart from all this, the company should also provide you with health and safety trainings. So you might think health and safety trainings are more, more important for construction, people working, uh, working on construction side or factory people, but it is equally important if you're working in an MNC or a desk job. Lastly, the company cannot fire you without a legitimate reason, reason or without giving a one month notice period. So, after knowing all these rules and regulations, if you feel your employer is not complying to these rules and regulations, then you have the right to inform the State Labor Inspection Department on this number. Between uh, They are available between 9 am to 3 pm. These are just few of the rules for the employer in Poland. There are many such more rules such as leave benefits, overtime, maternity and so on, which you can know more about on this website. 
moving and working abroad is a very big decision for anybody in life so it's very important to know your rules and obligations before moving to a country hope this information was useful to you please share this video with your uh, friends and family if you're considering to move to poland for work i will see you in the next video till then jinkoya dovidzenia